what is the most important skill in any business in this planet? What is that one and the most important skill in this entire planet when it comes to business? What is that one skill? What is it? What is that one skill which can get you millions of dollars and get all your dreams to become a reality by also helping so many others to achieve their dreams and goals in their lives also? Right? What is that one skill? Your ability to follow up and do a closing with a prospect. Right? That is the most expensive skill in this plan, right? If you have that skill in a scale of 1 to 10, let's say it is at 10 out of 10, becoming a millionaire is so easy in any business. Now let's come to this industry of network marketing. Now first, you do prospecting. And then you generate leads. You find out the right people for business, right? And then you invite them. And then you present the business to them, right? Some of you qualify them and then you present the business to them, right? And after that, it comes to the most important meeting, which is the following up and closing. Right? So if you master the skill of following up or closing, getting signups into your business will be so easy for you. New people will be joining continuously through your step-by-step -step process because you are a master of following up or closing. All right? So today I'm going to talk about the skill of closing. So let's understand the skill of closing, right? Now, when you come to the skill of closing, it is not just confronting a person. It's moreover, you are cooperating with a person, right? And it all starts by you handling their objections, handling their fears, handling their questions, right? So let's understand. There are two types of objections which they have. Just after the presentation, they will be asking some of the questions, right? They have questions in their mind, right? They have objections in their mind. What are those? Two types. Number one, technical objections, which they need some of the proof. Is it legal? Is it paying taxes to the government? Is it this? Is it that, right? So they're going to be asking a bunch of questions related to technical stuff. So you need to provide them proof, ultimately. The second type of objections are the biggest objections. Those are emotional objections, where you need to handle their fear. For example, can I succeed in this business? Will I be able to grow my distribution network? Will I be able to sign up one more people, right? Will I be able to get more sales, sell more products and services? You understand? So these are the questions which are emotional objections for them. You understand? So now, how are we going to handle these objections? Now, handling these technical objections, what you need to do? You just need to provide them proof. But emotional objections, you need to work with their fear. You need to handle their fear, right? Now, there's a technique called F3. Feel, felt, found in handling any objection, which is in that category of emotional objections. I feel how you feel. I felt the same. And I found out. And then you give your answer. Now, let me give you an example. Now, let's say the prospect says that I don't know whether I'll be able to find out people to join my organization. Now you could answer, I feel how you feel. When I got started with the business, I felt the same. But I found out by following this system step by step, step by step, step by step, step by step, the system will generate results for you. Because of the power of the system, you could be easily making money. That means you could be easily building your organization. It is moreover, rather than you are trying to confront the person, you are cooperating with the person, which means that the person is in fear, don't want to cross the road, afraid that a car will go over the person and make it with an accident, right? What you are basically doing is crossing the road and holding the hand of the prospect and slowly, 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 slowly helping him to cross the road. That's what you are basically doing, right? Getting into his side and help him to cross the road. But if you stay in this side and tell him, no, 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 just cross the road, right? Nobody's going to do that. So you can't confront them. You need to cooperate with them, right? You need to cross the road, hold his hand, and get him to the other side of the road. All right? Now, when a person says, I don't know whether I'll be able to build my organization or not, or maybe I don't know whether I can succeed or not, whatever they say because of their emotions, do you really understand why they say what they say? The answer is you don't. So first thing is that you need to find out what it is. Do not assume. Don't assume anything. Right? Ask questions, more and more questions to get clarity for yourself to really know what is the real objection which is in their mind. 
right i'll give one example i can't find people when someone says i can't find people what does that mean you still don't know what's the reason right you can ask a question why do you think you can't find people questions are the answers right now the person may answer because i have less friends now it is not i can't find people it is another problem that he is having less friends right all right next question what made you think having less friends is a problem to build this business what made you think having less friends is a problem to build this business now the prospect going to answer i think to make a big network i need to have a lot of non people now you know the real problem now you know the real objection which is in his mind right the real objection is that i don't know much of people so i think in order to build a global organization huge organization i need to know a lot of people that is his real objection right now as you found out the objection what to do i feel how you feel when i heard this business for the first time i felt exactly the same but i found out something crazy over the time as i got started with this business do you know what is that no tell me what is that if this is no one if you are john let's say and no one myself have a bigger circle of influence john has a smaller that means you have a smaller circle of influence now who can succeed in this business according to your assumption who can succeed in this business right of course no one right the prospect may answer of course no one right now the next question let's say no one finds two one is same to john other also same to john right no one finding two one in the left like john with a smaller circle of influence one in the right same as john with a smaller circle of influence now at the same time john finds out two one is like no one other also like no one having a huge circle of influence right now who can succeed of course now john can succeed faster than no one right now with this explanation i want you to understand okay it's not about how many people you know it's not a problem for you to know less amount of people because through this less amount of people there'll be few who may know much more than you who are extroverts if you are an introvert right those people may know more people who know thousands of people right so this way what i want you to know is that this is not a problem initially i feel the same like you okay i feel how you feel i feel the same i found out and this is the answer to be given all right so guys i hope this video made you understand that it is so simple to handle the objections once you handle the objection and remove the objection out from him he said to take a step forward to move forward with you so in one of my next videos i'm going to come back with some of the closing questions which you could ask from any prospect now till then don't forget to watch this video till the end this video may give you an opportunity to get started with a network marketing course which is going to cover all areas of networking all right with that i'm going to bring this video to an end and i hope to see you again with a new video till then have a good day and take care how can i build an organization how can i do prospecting how can i do a good invitation how can i qualify the prospect while i'm holding a better posture how can i keep that demand throughout the entire discussion how can i present the business plan how can i do a good closing and when i am closing when the prospect is asking hundreds of questions how can i handle each and every objection and do a perfect closing and as i am building my organization how can i lead my team how can i ensure that i get my downlines to have the right mindset right amount of activities right skills and knowledge how can i sustain my organization how can i retain my people how can i ensure that my business is growing step by step time after time after time so these are some of the common questions i have received on my youtube channel as comments hundreds of thousands of comments with these type of questions so with that i thought of making a module called pro networker a course module which is going to cover all the areas of all these questions and i want to give you all the answers to all these questions so this course module pro networker has 30 lessons number 1 introduction six stages in the business number 2 mindset knowledge and activities lesson number 3 the journey lesson 
the history of the industry credibility of the industry passive income leverage compounding three secrets of our business lesson number 7 the future of the industry understanding your why and a bucket list lesson number 9 goals and dreams lesson 10 commitment and book reading lesson 11 contact list memory jogger lesson 12 filtering contacts understanding prospecting initiation of a conversation holding an interesting conversation how are you going to have an interesting conversation with the prospect and number 16 magnet calling info calling qualifying the prospect inviting the prospect showing the plan of presentation and number 20 objection handling and clearing part 1 21 objection handling and clearing part 2 22 closing the sale do's and don'ts of our business retention of your team responsibilities as an upline duplication counseling your upline following the system short term goals and weekly targets and finally action plan and a crystal clear plan for you to get the results all right so these are the topics which is been covered inside this pro networker course module now how to get started with this pro networker course firstly this is a one month course which is also flexible timing i know some of you are busy with your jobs and other responsibilities now what i have been offering this course for others were at a price as 499 us dollars but for those who are coming through my youtube channel you will be getting this course for 100 us dollars after applying this promo code which is pro80 once you apply this promo code the price will drop down from 499 to 100 us dollars now let's see how to enroll all right now first you need to click on this link this link is also in the description below once you click on this link there's going to be a page which is going to be opened looks exactly like this you need to input your first name your last name your email address and then payment option you need to select as paypal if you don't have a paypal don't worry wait a minute all right so once you select paypal and then under that you can see enrollment fee as 499 below that you can see the promo code there's a box for you to enter the promo code enter the promo code pro80 once you enter pro80 promo code and apply the price will drop down to 100 us dollars and then click on confirm payment so once you do that there's going to be a pop up which is going to be open so there you see two options number one pay with paypal if you have a paypal account you can actually make that payment option number two pay with debit card or credit card if you don't have a paypal account you can choose the option as pay with debit card or credit card and go with that option and complete the enrollment once you complete the enrollment you'll be getting the access to pro networker course module and there you're going to go through these 30 lessons plus you're going to understand a step by step approach in bringing a prospect from zero changing his mindset giving him one more clarity making him more and more understanding about this industry of network marketing and especially the company you are networking with and then finally bringing him to right frame of mindset for him to say yes and become a part of your networking journey so with that i'm going to bring this video to an end and don't forget to grab your seat as early as possible and i'm going to see you again with a new video till then have a good day and take care